Hey, I'm Adria, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a tripod, whether it's for a camera or you'll be shooting video, and how to just get set up in just a couple of minutes. So when I do filming, it's usually of myself speaking or I'm recording an event and things like that. I'm a technology consultant, but you know I like to capture the moment and uh, things like that. So I bought this on Amazon for probably about $35 or so. I actually have two uh, tripods. This one is an Opecta. I also have a Canon one. Uh, when I carry it around, uh, sometimes it's in a bag, but sometimes I just grab it here and bring it along with me as I'm in the conferences and things like that. Uh, you may have a bag that you can uh, bring along as well. And here I have my Canon Vixia, which I use to record a film with. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up. Now most tripods will go up to somewhere between 50 to 70 inches, although there's some mini tripods, but I recommend one that goes above the audience, kind of, you know, where their heads are at. So you can uh, definitely film whatever's on screen. So um, with most of these tripods, uh, there are two, basically two sets of legs. So you want to go ahead and undo them, right? And then based on how smooth everything is, all the legs should just slide out. Now again, I was talking about 70 inches, so you want to kind of get the legs all spread and then kind of figure out what kind of what the right height is. Because remember, even after you get the legs set up, you still have about six to eight inches here to raise up the camera. So keep that in mind. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and kind of get the, get the legs settled there, make sure they're even. Remember that there's always um, a level, so you can look at that and make sure things are even. And then once they are, go ahead and start locking those legs in place and hold the tripod steady. If you need to make adjustments, you certainly can do that. And it's not the end of the world if it's like a little uneven. You can always undo one and then kind of go like that. So there, now I have my tripod set up. Now if I want to go ahead and attach my camera, um, let's go ahead and move this in. So if I want to go ahead and attach my camera, I can actually undo this little area and pull out this piece. This is basically like the camera mount, and this is pretty consistent and standard for uh, most still cameras and video cameras. We can see there it's going to line up. Cool. So let me go ahead and uh, get that lined up, and then basically I'm going to screw it into place. All right. And so on the bottom, I can just screw it into place, and it just takes a couple twists. And this allows for quick release. So then when I'm on site during the day, I put this, this whole thing in my bag, including the bottom. And then when I get to my new location, I go ahead and I set up my camera. All right. So now we'll kind of tilt this up. And then now I can go ahead and put my camera in here. And then lock that into place. Let me tilt this up so you guys can see a little bit better. And then, as you can see, now I'm pretty ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the camera and take a look at the view that I'm getting here. And the nice thing with a lot of these cameras is, based on wherever they're at, you can usually flip this around and it'll adjust. So you can you can kind of see and angle things. And remember, um, if I turn this a little bit, we can see that I have a level on the side to make sure it's level this way. But there's also a level here as well. Let me tilt that up. Yeah, there you go. It's also level here, so I can make sure that the legs are level as well, because it, otherwise it's going to look kind of weird when, you, uh, when you're when you looking to edit the film and you're like, why does it look like that? And remember, um, I can still go ahead and adjust the height of the camera, probably by another six inches or so with this gear. Oh, sorry, I tilt that up for you guys. There we go. So I can still go ahead and bring that up so that's above the audience level and then go ahead and adjust it as necessary. And then when I'm done filming, like I said, I can, I can like if I'm just going somewhere that's not too far away, then I can actually just bring this with me, right? But most likely what you're gonna do is go like that, turn off the camera, remove it, and um, then go ahead and grab it by the handle and go. Um, and then when you're done, then let's talk about, you know, kind of shutting down because you know, you, you may not have a lot of time to set up, so you need to be able to do this like snap snap. Then you just go around and undo those hinges. And then go ahead and push in the legs. And if you were to find them to be too stiff, uh, you can use, um, I'm trying 
trying to think of the name of that lubricant, you know, but like when you have squeaky doors and stuff, like WD-40, you could go ahead and use that to, to kind of uh, smooth things out. So there we go. That is how you go ahead and set up a camera tripod. Thanks.